So today I want to define uh, a word carcinogen. What does carcinogen mean? Carcinogen is any substance or radiation that has the capacity to promote the formation of cancer. So what happens, you have this normal cell that gets damaged by a carcinogen and it loses its ability to die. So normally you have normal cells that have pre-programmed death. Cancer cells don't. They live on forever. It's kind of weird. It's kind of like you would think it'd just be reverse. So if we take uh, this book right here, the book on toxicology, it's loaded with uh, all the things that can trigger cancer. You have pesticides, insecticides, herbicides, fungicides, heavy metals, country and western. I'm just kidding. That was a joke. Um, solvents, cigarette smoking, radiation, all these chemicals. And then it gets into the whole mechanism of what happens to the body and the time it takes for it to turn into cancer. And that is the problem with cancer. It's delayed. So you have this initial exposure and then 20 years later, you end up with cancer, right? So it's hard to form the link. Now, the good news is our bodies have the ability to uh, fight cancer and protect you against cancer through all sorts of internal antioxidants. And plus, the food that you eat is loaded with uh, phytonutrients that have anti-cancer properties, antioxidants that actually protect the cell from this damage. So in the liver, you have something called phase one, phase two detoxification, where your body can turn poisons into harmless particles. So it's really important to eat enough cruciferous vegetables on a regular basis. It's important to eat organic food. Uh, unfortunately, uh, GMO food uh, is loaded with something called glyphosate, which actually has been linked to cancer. And of course, if you do research on this, you're going to find that it's safe, but there's so much corruption in this area. It's not funny. And number one, if you go to the grocery store, nothing is labeled GMO. They don't have to label it as GMO. Well, we know if there's soy in there, if there's corn, it's going to be GMO. Also, there was another bill that was passed called the Monsanto Protection Act or the Farmer's Assurance Provision. Okay, check this out. This bill bars federal courts from being able to halt the sale or planting of GMO no matter what the health issue arises concerning GMO in the future. Is that crazy or what? So guys, you just need to start eating healthy. You need to eat organic on a regular basis. Yes, it's more expensive, but it's worth it. All right, thanks for watching. So I hope you're coming to the Keto Health Summit coming up in October. So I want to quickly comment on what we're going to do that's different from other conventions, okay? The problem with these other conventions is they give you information overload, okay? It's so much data that you're basically swimming in a sea of information. Uh, we're going to do things very differently. We're only going to cover the most important things that make a huge difference. Now, there are three very powerful strategies that we're going to be talking about at the summit that you will not find in any of my YouTube videos. Number one is on memory. I'm going to be showing you something very cool to dramatically increase your memory and concentration that's going to blow you away. And number two, I'm going to show you how to increase your stress tolerance so you are completely calm all the time. All right. And number three, and most importantly, if you have a slow metabolism, if you've dieted for a long time and everything is kind of just really slow, I'm going to show you how to get complete control over your metabolism so you can literally turn up the dial as high as you want and control as much weight as you want to lose. And these three things are just a tiny bit of what you're going to learn in the summit. So click the link below, get signed up, and I will see you in October.